And our final item about the anniversary of World War I, the 100th anniversary of World War I ending, is lest we forget all the sacrifices of our past. From the Liverpool Echo, Tuesday, November the 6th. And it's by Cheryl Muddell, uh, Cheryl Mullin, Deputy Print Editor. Poppies and petals to fall from city landmarks. The names of nearly 14,000 Liverpool men who lost their lives during World War I will be beamed onto the ground at exchange flags. The poignant tribute forms part of the city's 2018 Service of Remembrance commemorations, with the scrolling carpet of names visible each evening from uh, today until Sunday, November the 11th. The site was chosen as, during the conflict, residents would queue to post the names of their fallen relatives in exchange flags. A number of other events are taking place across the city centre in the lead-up to Liverpool's Service of Remembrance on Sunday, this year marking a century since the Great War ended. They include the Hall of Remembrance in Liverpool Town Hall will be open to the public from 9am to 9pm from Tuesday, November the 6th until Sunday, November the 11th. Visitors will be able to write a message of thank you to those who made the ultimate sacrifice. A special showreel featuring footage of the pals lined up on St George's Hall Plateau, as well as shots of soldiers boarding a train at Lime Street Station, will be showed in the town hall from November the 6th to the 10th and on an outdoor screen on St George's Plateau ahead of the main service on Sunday. St John's Beacon will be lit up on November the 10th and 11th with specially designed lighting to make it look like a field of poppies. A portrait of war poet and soldier Wilfred Owen, created by artist Anthony Brown, will be projected onto the side of a building on Skelhorn Street next to the Crown Pub on the nights of November the 10th and 11th, located opposite Lime Street Station, where the majority of soldiers left the city, with many never returning home. Remembrance Sunday's event, which takes place outside St George's Hall, will start at around 10.30am when parades will start to form up on the plateau. A small number of serving personnel will dress in traditional World War I uniforms to lead the initial parade onto the plateau. The Archbishop of Liverpool will then give his <clears throat> thoughts for Remembrance Day and actress Sue Johnson, OBE, will read Wilfred Owen's poem, Anthem for Doomed Youth. There will be contributions from the band of the Duke of Lancaster Regiment and classical singer Danielle Louise Thomas, and the last post will lead into the two-minute silence at 11am. Thousands of poppies will drop from the roof of St George's Hall, and for the first time, thousands of petals will also fall from the top of St John's Beacon. Former Royal Marine Andy Grant will then talk about his experience of war and how his life changed forever after being injured by an IED, that's an improvised explosive device, and subsequently losing his leg. Following this, wreaths will be laid at the Cenotaph, and the service will be conclude with a short parade and march past, march past. Liverpool's Lord Mayor, Councillor Christine Banks, said, It's important to give people as many opportunities as possible to remember and reflect on the sacrifices that were made for us a century ago. Just to stand in exchange flags and see 14,000 names scrolling across the floor will give a sense of the scale of loss experienced in this city alone. These aren't just names. They were someone's father, someone's son, and someone's brother, part of someone's family. With Sue Johnson reading a poem which reflects on the horrors of war and the poppy petal drop, it will undoubtedly be an emotional service. I encourage as many people as possible to come along on Sunday, wear their poppy with pride and show their support for our service personnel, their families and friends and the hard work and dedication of the Royal British Legion.